Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up load balancers and target groups. First, we will create an EC2 instance to run our server. Then, we will create a target group and a load balancer to route HTTP traffic. If you're completely new to load balancing, I highly recommend you watch our AWS Elastic Load Balancing Explained video. The links is in the description. Otherwise, I'll explain every single step as we go. A load balancer allows you to control all your incoming traffic. Target groups are a collection of one or more EC2 instance for your application. By setting target groups and a load balancer, you could route your HTTP traffic to a single or multiple instances. If you're running multiple instances inside your target groups, and let's say one of them fails, you don't have to worry much as your load balancer will always route traffic to a healthy instance. When you create a load balancer, you will get a unique DNS name. It's an A record. That's basically equivalent for your IP address. Instead of routing traffic to your server public IP, you would use your load balancer unique DNS name. It's also worth mentioning that if you're going to map your domain name to your server, instead of using your server IP address, you would have to use your load balancer DNS name. We're going to create two security groups. One will allow our EC2 instances HTTP access, and the other one will give SSH access so we could remotely connect to our instance. On the top, search for EC2. On the left, you want to scroll down and you want to go to security groups under network and security. And let's go ahead and create our new security group. And I'm going to call this Internet Access. And for the description, I'm just going to write Internet Access as well. And we're going to open two ports. HTTP. And it's optional if you want to add HTTPS. But for this demo, I'm not really uh, setting up an SSL certificate at all. So I'm just going to leave that. So for the HTTP, we want to make sure that we can connect anywhere. And let's go ahead and create this new security group. Now let's go back to security groups and create another security group. And this one will just say developers SSH access. And for the inbound rule, I'm going to select SSH. And I'm going to select my IP address. Let's go ahead and create this security group. Now, once you have both of these created, let's go ahead and uh, add a name for them. So for the internet access, I'm going to add it in the label here. And for the developers SSH access, I'm going to also add it in the name here. Now, for our second step, we're going to create our EC2 instance. So, let's go to Instances. And from here, let's launch a new instance. And this is just for a demo purpose. So, I'm going to select the Ubuntu. And I'm going to keep it micro. And let's go ahead and go to Security Groups and add our security groups for Developers SSH Access and the internet access and let's go ahead and launch our instance and i'm going to create a new key pair and let's call this server one test and let's go ahead and launch our instance now, once your instance is up and running, let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call this test server one. And let's go ahead and copy our IP address. 
and now I'm going to quickly SSH into my instance and I'm going to install Apache just to demonstrate that we have a server up and running so I'm gonna use git bash here and we're gonna use SSH so SSH dash I and we're gonna specify the file it was called server test one dm and ubuntu at and we're gonna paste our ip address now i'm going to update our server so we're gonna run sudo apt update then we're going to install apache too And our last step, I'm going to also install PHP for our Apache. So we do that by writing sudo apt install PHP. Then we're going to write lib and then Apache 2 dash mod dash PHP. And now I'm just going to quickly restart our server. So we're going to restart Apache. And let's go ahead and exit our terminal. Now inside our browser, let's go ahead and double check if Apache is installed. So we're going to copy our IP address and we're going to connect to it using HTTP only. And you can see here we have our default Apache page. Before we create our load balancer, we will create a target group. Then we will assign our EC2 instance to that group. So we're gonna register our EC2 instance. After all that, we will create a load balancer and we will redirect our HTTP traffic to our target group. So on the left here, we're gonna scroll all the way down and you're gonna see here target groups. Let's go ahead and create ourselves a new target group. And we're gonna select a target type instance there is all these different types here you could use for the target group name i'm just gonna call this test demo now i'm going to also keep the http protocol since we're not really using https for this demo and here you could create all your health checks the first field here health check path what this will do is basically it will send a, a request like an HTTP request to your server. Then if your server responds with 200, it will basically uh, report healthy. Now here you could modify all your values. For example, you could set the interval between each check. The success code here is 200. You could change that and you have unhealthy uh, threshold targets, how much times it can fail and the number of consecutive health succeeds before it's uh, considered unhealthy so you could modify all your values here let's go ahead and keep the default options and click next now we're going to register our ec2 instance to our target so now once you select your ec2 instance or instances you're gonna click on include as pending below and let's go ahead and create our target group Now our last step is to create a load balancer. So on the left inside EC2 instances, you want to scroll all the way down. Under load balancing, click on load balancers. And let's go ahead and create a new load balancer. And we're going to select the application load balancer. We covered all these in my previous video. And for our load balancer name, I'm just going to call it demo test. Now, for the scheme, you have internet facing and internal. So the internet facing will give you both an IPv4 IP and it will give you a private IP. For the internal, you will not have a public IP, which means that no one will be able to access it globally. And for the network mapping, I'm going to select all my available options here. 
and let's go all the way down and here is what we want to do so we want to listen on http port 80 and we want to forward all those requests to our test demo target group and now let's go ahead and create our load balancer now it's gonna actually take a while but eventually once your load balancer status become active then we're ready to use it down here you have your dns name so you would use this name instead of your ip address to connect to your instance so let's go ahead and see that now this is not gonna work and you can see here it's stuck loading and eventually it will time out and the reason is we haven't really added security groups to our load balancer so we will need to set our security groups here so let's go ahead and edit our security group and for our load balancer i'm gonna only select internet access which will allow people to connect to our load balancer using our url and you can see here this site cannot be reached so let's go ahead and add that and let's uh, refresh and now you can see that our load balancer is working Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, then I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest training videos. If you have any questions, feel free to post it down on a comment below and we'll see you on the next video.